as I said, uh, data is going to be generated by the sensors. That every hour, every minute, so that no number of data is going to generate, then the causes the network to be bottlenecked and shows analysis in the cloud. Then the data analytics is the capable needs to be distributed throughout the IoT network from the edge to the cloud the last point to the highest point in traditional IoT networks analytics and uh, applications typically run only in the cloud so as the massive data is getting, uh, getting collected that it should be generated by the sensors which is there in the edge we get transmitted or stored to the cloud because only cloud can store the maximum data and it is going to be uh, anywhere that you can be used that is another advantage of it. another point is that uh, it supports the legacy devices so here uh, IoT, IoT network often coming comprises of collection of modern IP capable endpoints as well as legacy. So non IP devices that play on the serial or uh, proprietary networks. So here uh, these things are going to be digitally they should be transferred. So IP devices entire protocol. So it will be knowing exactly that information going to be there. Exactly that information they are getting. So these things that it will be knowing it. It is a digital transformation is the long process that makes many years. But IoT is instant it is uh, works need to support the protocols, transmissions and our tunneling mechanisms to support legacy systems fixing protocols over the standardized based protocols here ethernet type ip examples for this then finally the need for the data to be analyzed and re in the real time that is what it is required now the analysis of software needs to be positioned closer to the edge and should support real time streaming analysis Traditional IT analysis supports Hadoop architecture or better suited for batch level processing but not for the IoT. IoT is needs instant executions of the data. Same thing that I discussed over here also. Comparing an uh, IoT architectures, so here uh, architecture standards are there. One thing is that uh, there is a one MTM uh, IoT standardized format of architecture. It is MTM is something machine to machine. So the IoT world forum that is uh, IoTWF, something like that. IoT world forum standard architecture. So the two architectures are there. So in this uh, IoT WF, uh, we have seven layer network. It is the physical layer is there, the controllers, and connectivity layer is there, then edge computing layer is there, and another four layers are there. The IT and uh, OT responsibilities are in the IoT reference model. It is going to be there. We want to see that now. Additional IoT reference models are also going to be. The one MDM uh, standard architecture is going to be shown here. The main elements in the MDM IoT architecture is the heterogeneous of uh, devices, software and access methods are going to be here. The one MDM uh, is developing standards that allow the interoperability at all levels of the IoT stack. This is the 
important thing it is going to be that is it is uh, mtm is the developing standards that allows interoperability interconnections of the devices that at all the levels it is going to be stored that is in the iot stack one mtm architecture divides iot functions into three major domains there application layer service layer and the network layer you can able to see in this okay application layers are there where you have a uh, smart energy asset tracking then uh, feed management so many things that you don't have and in case of service layer the mtm includes the common services horizontal framework supporting the referral app apis are going to be there restful uh, apis are going to be there then the third one is the network layer where application links to the apis are communicating to the sensors then this here it is uh, another uh, there is iot layer there were seven layered network it is going to be you can able to see that edge to the finally to the applications okay. so here it is going to be in the physical layer connection penetrating layer edge layer edge or edge computing data accumulation is in the storage then data abstraction aggregation and access then applications are going to be there based on the controls analytics you know then collaborative process communicating between different locations different people different applications that it is going to be you know the people to business process are going to be present here by using that you can able to see that how the data is getting transferred from uh, physical layer to the collaboration layer so this is the reference model basically so you decompose the iot process to a smaller parts identifies different technologies at each level and uh, they will be related to the other one and defines the system in such a way that uh, the parts of can be provided by different vendors all together that it is going to be combined and it is going to get processed have a process of defining interfaces different things that leads to the interoperability it defines the tried security model so that is enforced by the transition points between the levels so the data is going to get executed by the different locations the layers in this first layer is the physical layer as i discussed already this is a home of the things in the internet of things so the thing that it is going to be there in the first layer sensors and all these things the their primary function is going to be data collection is to quite and of control over the network second layer is connectivity layer where the data collected is going to be communicated with the different units or processing units so here the functions are, are communications between the layer 1 and uh, the devices it is reliable delivery and information across the network and switching of the switching and routing is going to be there translation between the protocols the network level security so these are the major things are going the functionality is of going to be there so data collection is one thing then after the processing of that data and going ahead with the next thing okay. and uh, here only the data switching is going to be third layer is a uh, edge computing layer where uh, uh, it referred as an uh, fog layer it is edge computing layer it is referred as a fog layer this layer it is emphasis on the data reduction and uh, converting network data flows into information 
that is ready 